You see the product, now take action. Miracle Food, suitable for all ages, the perfect cleanse and reboot. A product that helps promote a healthy immune system and a great anti-inflammatory. Don't just take my word for it. Sandman at Viral Hip Hop News strongly suggests you go over to ChakraDoctor.org and try out the incredible product, Miracle Food. Let's go. Yeah, salute to the Jackson family. Some of them are friends of the show, so we always rock with the Jackson family and Mike as well. Yes. One of your, your, your best roles. No, don't, don't, listen, don't listen to the media. They're horrible people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> My man. Now, one of your most famous roles was playing Flex Washington on the show One on One, and uh, the message was very powerful. Even if you were just a kid watching the show and enjoying it, you're a single black father on a show mm -hmm. with a daughter, raising a daughter and doing a yeah. damn job at it talk about getting that role and talk about um did you know at the time the significance of what you were playing and what you were standing for at the, at the moment uh well for that show a lot of people don't know i created that show um oh. i passed into it i brought in the showrunner i met with several showrunners and brought in uh, uh yunetta boom god rest her soul she passed away um but the show originally was over at abc um, had a script deal and a different writer at the time, and it didn't work out. Um, it, it wasn't delivered the way I wanted it to be. So um, I just revisited it later because um, it was still my creation and my idea. So I said to my agent, hey, I want to revisit this idea and kind of go back to what I originally wanted it to be. Um, so I sat down with uh, Green Black John Lowry studio they had an overall deal at fox and we just pitched it to yo I, we get, the idea came from and, and the crazy thing was you know i went to a battle for a while with the showrunner just of the creation because the guild guilds recognition you know and what you do is two different things you can say how oh, i created it but if you don't register it and do the proper steps in the writers guild you're not protected. And at the time when I came up with it, I was young. I didn't know anything about registering the idea and nobody told me. So that was on me. But um, uh, the show spawned from two things. I had a, uh, one of my boys from Harlem was a teenage father. And so I say, it was tough for him to go hang out. We would make fun of him. Oh man, you can't go nowhere. Like, yo, we going to such and such. What you doing? And, you know, they'd be, ah, man, y'all ain't right. And uh, so I thought, I, I just thought of his life. And then I saw an LL Cool J commercial where it was a Coca-Cola commercial. He was doing his daughter's hair on steps. And when he finished, the ponytails were all messed up. I was like, man, that's a show. Mm -hmm. Then I see Kyla on, she was doing a string of WNBA commercials. They were playing the Little Rascals music. And she would go up to like Lisa Leslie, and say, oh, you're Lisa Leslie, oh my God. And, could, and she would go, oh, you want my autograph? And then it would go like from sweet music to, I don't want your autograph. You ain't, you haven't scored this many points. You get defense, this, this is weak. And then I was like, yo, this little girl is brilliant. I mm -hmm. hadn't seen her before that. So that was the birth of of, of one on one. And, um, and then uh, I, I just went, pitched it on a Tuesday, on a Friday. They, um, they said, yo, we want to do it. And it was important to me to show a single black father not running from his responsibility and showing his friend, everybody else, as the village that I came up in, mm -hmm. a village that, that really helps raise children. And But I just wanted to do it in a, in a, in a fun way. The idea wasn't new as far as, you know, a father taking the care of because we had so many shows like that you know right. um but i just wanted to give it a different spin of a dude trying to still be a playboy but like you know, i gotta take care of my daughter and um if it, it just if it, it, that was that was like the, other than having my children man and, and stuff and that was like one of the joys of my life like seeing that happen and i have fun going to work every day like every day was fun now, was that just a situation where contract ended and that's why it ended or was there something more to it? You wanted to go to in a different direction, you know, with, with like that L.A., you know, the L.A. version. When it, it, was, it was telling telling us, hey, this is what we want to do. We want to go, you know, we see him doing this. And then, you know, they wanted Kyla to, you know, explore sex. And, this, and I was like, yo, and, oh, we don't think we need your friend there. We don't need her friend there. Boom, boom, boom. And I was like, well, that's not. That that's the, the elements of the show. 
like that's that's not important. I mean, I mean that's important. Like you can't change the blueprint. And it was like it got to a point. Well, hey, you can do. And I was up for more money too. So it it, it was like, hey, you can do six episodes and just get paid this, or do these many and we'll prorate it. And it was, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna do the six episodes and and then I'm gonna buy. Gotcha. Snakes on a Plane, um, how was that experience in working alongside Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, that was fun, man. Sam, we, we played golf. Sam and my boy, we played golf one time. So okay. I remember I went to audition for it. I said, because I, 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 I never asked cats that I know, like, yo, can you hook me up? Or, you know, I want to be in a movie you're in. And I just, I didn't say nothing. I just went and I read and I waited until I knew that they were interested and were talking about an offer. And it was, and it was funny, it was between me and Wayne Brady. Um, and uh, I just told him, I said, Hey Sam, I said, Yo, I just want to let you know, you know, I'm good, for this. and they like me. And like, he said, Oh, real? I said, Okay, all right, all right, all right, shit, I'm, I'm gonna see what's up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, and they thing, I you know, I got it, and we we, we shot it up in uh, in Vancouver, Canada in the summer, which was beautiful. Uh, I didn't get dark till like 10 30 uh, at night, and um, uh, Keenan, I got to hang with Keenan Thompson. We, we we had a ball uh up there. Um and we played in played golf pretty much every day, either after work or when we were off. You know, Sam do his work. It's like, you know, if I still had a scene, he's like, I'll meet you over there. All right. And I'm like, all right, cool. Um, it was fun, man. It it was it just wasn't like work. And watching Sam work also was he was Doing this movie, but I'd sit in his trailer, we'd be talking, and he was preparing for Black Snake Moan. He was learning how to play. Oh, dope. Joint uh, uh, guitar. And I was like, oh, this is, I mean, I guess it's, it's deep, man. It, it was deep seeing that. It was deep seeing that, but it was dope, man. We had, we had, we had a great time. Indeed. How did you, how were you and your wife, Shanice, able to mend or keep that relationship and that marriage strong throughout?